Hi guys, Ratty here from Inside FPV with another video in our beginner series. This video is going to be about how to wire up your camera and video transmitter. Here we have two of the most common video transmitters. On the left is an Immersion RC 5.8 and on the right is a Boscam 5.8. They both use the same 2 pin Molex for input and 5 pin Molex for output. But they are wired slightly different. In this video I will show you how to wire them up correctly. We will start with the Boscam and the standard way of wiring it up. It is recommended to use a 3 cell battery to power it. To provide power to the video transmitter, you need to plug the red or power cable into pin number 1 of the 2 pin Molex and the black or ground cable into pin number 2 of the 2 pin Molex. To provide power to your camera from your video transmitter, you need to plug the black or ground wire into pin number 5 of the 5 pin Molex and the red or power wire into pin number 4 of the 5 pin Molex. It is worth noting that some video transmitters give out 5 volts and some video transmitters give out 12 volts. It is recommended that you use a multimeter to test this and to make sure that your camera is compatible. Finally, to connect the video, you plug the yellow or video wire into pin number 3 of the 5 pin Molex. Pins number 1 and 2 of the 5 pin Molex are for audio and are not needed at this time. Now on to the standard way of wiring the Immersion RC video transmitter. There is only a slight difference in the wiring from the Boscam transmitter, but it is a very important difference. On the Immersion RC transmitters, the black or ground wire goes into pin number 1 of the 2 pin Molex, and the red or power wire goes into pin number 2 of the 2 pin Molex. For the power out for your camera, you need to plug the red or power cable into pin number 5 of the 5 pin Molex, and the black or ground wire into pin number 4 of the 5 pin Molex. The yellow video wire again goes into pin number 3 of the 5 pin Molex. And just like the Boscam, pin number 1 and 2 are for audio and are not needed at this moment. Pictured now is an alternate way of powering your camera, not using the power out from the video transmitter itself. This is my preferred way of powering my cameras, as sometimes the power out from the video transmitters can blow and will leave you pictureless. Just remember that when you are tapping power directly from the battery for your camera that you will receive 12 volts. So make sure your camera is compatible. Here it is being shown in the Immersion RC transmitter. Remember that the red and black wire in the 2 pin Molex are reversed from the boss cam. Finally, remember to never power your video transmitters without an antenna attached like in this picture. This is very bad for them and will most likely cause it to break. Also, never attempt to put power in the 5 pin Molex connector. This is a strictly for power out. Like always, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos in the series. Thanks for watching.